My next guest has been pressing for answers from the FBI on the salacious but still unverified so-called Trump dossier. So let's bring in Tom Fitton, president of Judicial Watch. Good to see you tonight, Tom. Thanks for having me, Shannon. It seems like there the deputy attorney general is indicating he does know more about the dossier. Obviously, he didn't feel like he he felt like he was constrained in some way that he couldn't answer some of these questions. Do you think we're ever going to get an answer about who paid for it, if the FBI paid for any information, and whether or not it was used to secure a warrant to then spy on the Trump team? Oh, I think it's eventually going to come out. Now, the question is how? Is it going to be forced out through court process or through the IG report? We don't know. You know, it's interesting he admitted there is a dossier because we've sued both the FBI mm -hmm. and Justice Department for information about these payments and what was going on with the dossier. They won't even confirm or deny the dossier exists to Judicial Watch, and we're in the middle of a court fight on it. I can't believe the stonewalling I'm getting from the Justice Department and the FBI. Our attorneys are back and forth with them, trying to get information on the dossier, trying to figure out about these FBI texts, and they're playing games with us. And I see they're also playing games with Congress. And the leadership of the FBI and Justice Department need to take ownership over this gamesmanship because it's destroying the credibility and it makes it look like those agencies have something to hide. Well, interestingly, we referenced this uh, court filing from Glenn, uh, Glenn Simpson, one of the co-founders of Fusion GPS. He does say in this, and under perjury, uh, penalty of perjury, he said today, bank records reflect the Fusion contracted with Nellie Orr to help our company with its research and analysis of Mr. Trump. Nellie Orr is the wife of a DOJ official who reached out to Fusion GPS before and after the election because he wanted to talk to them about this information about the president. That seems, even by D.C. standards, where a lot of us have spouses that work in different agencies and sometimes we are overlapping in our interests, that seems a little too close for comfort for just about everybody. Look, Fusion GPS was a Hillary Clinton campaign vendor. And the Justice Department was working hand in glove with it, perhaps paying it money. I think that suspect, you know, the, the suspicion is they were paying them money. Top DOJ official's wife is working with them. What w there was no distinction between the Hillary Clinton campaign and the Department of Justice and the FBI. And the goal was unified, which was to get Donald Trump. And the text messages that have come out show that they had some type of insurance policy in case Mr. Trump won the presidency. This is our FBI. Forget about the uh, FBI investigation into Clinton and Trump being compromised by these conflicts. I think the FBI has been compromised. Forget about shutting down Mr. Mueller. Do we need to shut down the FBI because it was turned into a KGB type operation well, by the Obama people administration? People are going to feel like that's a pretty radical statement to make. Look, the FBI cannot be trusted to investigate high level government corruption at this point time. And right now, uh, you see Mr. Rosenstein being blasé about the corruption that's going on in his watch. He says, well, we'll get to it when the IG report comes out. In the meantime, Mueller's operation, which has been compromised, is indicting and prosecuting people. They need protection. And I'm tired of the blasé attitude of this Justice Department and FBI towards the outrageous corruption that's been uncovered. They were hiding it, remember. They were hiding this FBI agent, having him be demoted. Been hiding it since July. Well, okay, on to the, on to the point of Peter Strzok, who was taken off the team. This is what a Democrat Congressman Nadler had to say today about that. Peter Strzok did not say anything about Donald Trump that the majority of Americans weren't also thinking at the same time. And second, in a testament to his integrity and situational awareness, when the Office of the Inspector General made Mr. Mueller aware of these exchanges, he immediately removed Mr. Strzok from his team. Quickly, why is that not good enough for you? Uh, because we don't know what he was involved in up to that point in time. He may have been involved in the interview of General Flynn, for which he had to plead guilty. I would question that. Was he involved in the targeting of Manafort? Was he involved in the decision making surrounding uh, the Clinton email investigation? You know, the timing of that text about having an insurance policy seems to coincide with the timing of the seeking of a FISA application to spy on the Trump team. Look, we can't trust anything coming out of the Mueller investigation until we figure out what went on with these FBI texts. And we will keep digging. We know you will as well, because every day there's a new development, a new nugget of news um, that raises new questions instead of more answers, it seems. Um, Tom Fitton, Judicial Watch, thanks for coming in. Thank you. Good to see you.